Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and it's time for the weekly pop culture wrap-up. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is the weekly pop culture wrap-up. It's the show where I go over the week's pop culture news, mostly comic books and movies. Let's get right into it with some comic book news. Little Monsters is a new one from Jeff Lemire, Dustin Wynn, and it comes out in March from Image Comics. It's kind of said to be like Lord of the Flies meets vampires right like that sounds really freaking cool to me from jeff lemire's word himself i think this is on his Substack or something or his newsletter but he said this new book has been in the works for well over a year now and i began writing it as soon as dustin and i finished descender and ascender little monsters is a real departure from the space opera and sci-fi of descender much more grounded and character driven this new series will follow a group of child vampires who have outlived humanity and now live in the decaying hut of Los Angeles, lost in an endless wonderland of innocent childhood games and dramas. But their paradise is soon shattered, and their innocence put to the test when unforeseen events force them to reconcile with their pasts and with each other. Like I said, he kind of describes it as Lord of the Flies meets Child Vampires, and yo, this sounds amazing. Come on, Jeff and Dustin on another book together. That's a no-brainer. I'm definitely going to check it out. I love the idea of going back into vampires, doing something a little bit different. We've seen books before where it's about kid vampires, but I would love to see what Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen can put into it very, very Excited for that. Also excited that A Dark Interlude is finally seeing the publication of its third issue. It returns January 26th, but with a new artist. Piotr uh, Kowalski is going to be the new artist replacing Andrea Muti. So I guess Muti is off the book. Um, Ryan O'Sullivan did a press release or or some kind of statement and said that they're actually since... Fearscape and and A Dark Interlude are very meta, right? Metafictional. They're going to actually address the art change in the course of the issue, so that's cool. This book only had two books published so far, and they were all like last year, but I'm super freaking excited for its return. If you didn't know, this is the sequel to Fearscape, one of the best vault comics out there, written by Ryan O'Sullivan and Andrea Muti, but Muti did the first two issues, now we got Kowalski coming in. I'm pretty sure this was the artist on... um, uh, what's that book? Join the Future from uh, Zach Kaplan and Aftershock. Pretty sure that's this artist. That's cool. Imagining him with uh, Popoff's colors, colors right there. I think that this will probably be not necessarily super seamless in the transition from art styles, but I think that they're going to make it work, and I'm excited. By the way, if you are curious, I looked up the current dates for the final issues of Giga and picture of everything else, and we got Giga in like February, I believe, and right now it's April for the picture of everything else, but of course those those may change. Witches returns around around Halloween 2022. Zack Snyder was talking, uh, it was us, my bad, Scott Snyder was talking on his Substack recently about the writer's room was starting for the Witches TV show. It's going to be on Amazon Prime. He's a part of that writer's room. James Tynan's a part of that writer's room. And uh, and in the, the, the email or the, the newsletter, he basically alluded to the idea that him and Jock are going to release volume two of the Witches and it's coming in Halloween or around Halloween of 2022. We've heard this before. I'll believe it when I see it. Witches is a really cool, gnarly, like gritty. It's not gritty, like grimy, but it's like got gritty artwork, textured artwork. It's about witches. Really cool stuff. Memoria is a new one from Kurt Pyers, Sanando C, Comixology, and it releases next week, December 7th. Don't even have to wait for it. It's just going to release there on Comixology. Kurt Pyers has been doing some work over there, Lost Falls, um, which I haven't read yet. I do plan on getting into that. Youth, which was amazing. And in the physical formats, he did uh, Olympia over at Image Comics. That was a really solid, solid book. So Memoria, very excited for this. Let's read the solicitation. When two troubled detectives are paired up and assigned a case, they begin to discover a well-kept secret behind a slew of murders that spans decades. With Memoria, writer, with Memoria, writer Kurt Pyers, artist Sanando C, colorist Mark Dale, and letterer Hassan Otsman El Hal have created a mesmerizing comic book mystery thriller. 
chock full of paranoia, intrigue, and horror. Told in five chapters, it's going to be available starting December 7th. So that seems pretty cool. Uh, yeah, follows two detectives. Daniel's a young cop who drinks to cope with his past, and Reynolds, an aged, terminally ill cop with an axe to grind. When the police chief partners them up and saddles them with what seems to be an unsolvable case, their investigation begins to unravel a sprawling conspiracy that points to one thing, the most prolific serial killer in American history. As they follow leads, they make discoveries that will force them to question everything and everyone they know. Very excited for this. Kurt Pyers is a super solid writer. Very uh, technically efficient as a writer. Really like the pacing of the dialogue of his story. So really excited to jump into this one and start talking about it. Uh, Stan Sebastian teases involvement in a reckless movie or show. Reckless is the comic book. It's a graphic novel. Sean Phillips, Ed Brubaker. I got my copy right over there. I still haven't read it. They've released like one or two more. So I think there's like two or three in this whole world. I think there may be only two. Anyway, Sebastian Stan basically just went to Instagram, had a picture of him reading it. Whenever a writer, or am I bad, an actor, um, puts a picture of them reading a comic book, there's going to be an announcement soon, so there you go. Nicolas Cage has been cast as Dracula in the Renfield movie. Uh, Renfield's going to be a movie. Nicholas Holt's playing Renfield. Um, Renfield from the Dracula book. It's uh, pitched by Robert Kirkman. Um, they're they're doing this for as a as a movie, I believe. And Skybound is entertainment's part of it. Um, and they cast Nicholas Cage as Dracula. Uh, you know, he's played a vampire before in Vampire's Kiss. Uh, one of those funny, goofy. Uh, vampires were the rage in the 80s, right? And so, like, they were all like, oh, man, like, comedic vampire movies. My Best Friend's a Vampire, Once Bitten, uh, and Vampire's Kiss. So, I don't, I don't, it's, a, it's an interesting casting choice. Uh, we're gonna have to see for that one. Chucky has been renewed for a season two. Station! Super excited for this news. I loved Chucky season one. I've watched it all. I've seen the finale it released this week. I loved it. Did some things where I was like, you sons of... But it's okay. I really liked the series. It had this nice, fun, tongue-in-cheek tone to it. But it also had actual build-up of characters. It actually worked as a character-driven piece. Dealing with the melodrama of these 14-year-olds. Why do I care? But I'm engaged. I'm enthralled. And then in the midst of it, you got a no-holds-barred Chucky. They're not holding anything back. They're not holding back the kills or the gores or the language or the comedy. It's all still there and still under the guiding hand of Don Mancini. I loved, adored the Chucky TV series. One of my favorite shows I've watched this year. I haven't really watched too many, but of course I got to watch Chucky. It's been renewed for season two and that's exciting news. So that's what we got for you this week. What you think about any of this news, drop a comment in the comments below. And uh, thank you for checking out the video. Join me tonight. That's Saturday night over at Dylan's Horror Show. We're going to be talking about The Exorcist 3. Very excited to have that conversation. We'll be joined by Verno from the Cerebros, from by Fable, by Steph, and by Perry at Perry Comics. Super excited. No Rock and Robbie Live this Sunday, but we will be returning the following Sunday, getting into some holiday cheer. Anyway, thank you guys so much for everything. We do appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts, blogs, and a whole lot more. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. Thanks for rocking with us. Station.